Hello friends and welcome back to my studio. I have something big in store for you today. And when I say big, I mean 40 by 60 inch canvas big. So last week I did a lovely collaboration with Karen Durston and I'll uh, link that video below. But if you guys know me, I always want to go bigger with everything I do. So I have a really lovely uh, plan today and I'll talk to you more about that when I get down, when we get down to the canvas, but I've got my trusty spider strainer here and my split cup. Uh, this one is from the paint pour store. I really like these. I like the rounded spout a lot, um, a lot more than a, a pointy spout. So this one works really well for me. And uh, this canvas is being repurposed. I had did a pour on it a while back, sat with it, tried to embellish it, never found a way that I really loved it. So um, what I've done is I just did a nice coat of black gesso on here, gave it a light sanding, and that's where we're at now ready to go for this pour. So I'm uh, going to bring you down. I will show you my paints. I'm going to change the view of the camera so you can actually see what we're working on here. And yeah, we'll go from here. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Here we are with the colors. I have Golden's Payne's Gray, Golden Iridescent Silver, Golden Carbon Black, Modern Masters Venetian Blue, Modern Masters Sapphire, Liquitex Grayish Blue. This is my cloud mix. I'll put that recipe below. And I did put just a drop of Payne's Gray in it so it's not a white white. And then this is a kind of bright fuchsia color that I created out of some ends of cups and whatnot, but it's just a really pretty, lovely color. And then this is Modern Masters Flash Gold, which is a interference color. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. And here's what I have for the base, which is drips that are saved from other paintings. And then I did add to this just because I didn't think I had quite the quantity I needed. Um, this is sat for a while, so I think I'm going to strain it one more time because I am seeing some chunks here. forgot to hit record. So um, on my outermost chamber I have alternated between the bluish gray and the sapphire blue. This one is all Payne's gray. This one alternates between my fuchsia color and my Venetian blue color and then this one alternates between my cloud mix and my iridescent silver. This one I'm intentionally leaving empty for the moment. I'm gonna pour one puddle, and then the next puddle I'm going to do with black, just so that there's a little bit of difference between my uh, the two puddles. Okay, so for my first, first puddle, I'm gonna pour a little extra of my base coat down. I have my spider strainer. I'm gonna lightly set it right in that puddle. I'm gonna add just a touch of my flash gold. And then, there we go. Just kind of like a lazy ring pour is all I'm doing here. Don't have to be too worried about the dismount lightly, slowly lift up. Ah, and look at those beautiful, fun effects that you get. Quick little torch. Now, because I don't want this to get too wide, 
I'm going to go ahead and start stretching it and then I'll pour some more, okay? Again, just lightly laying the straight strainer down and lazy rancor. I should have enough weight of the paint to really allow that to move a little better. I hope that's going to show up on camera really well. I'm getting a little bit of an angle here, so I think I'm going to bring this this way just a little bit and then start bringing it back down. have a lot of paint left but I think I am going to do just a little bit more here I'm going to take a little more paint off the end down there so I can anchor it a little better and then I'll bring it all the way down to my end. Okay, now let's try to work that down that way. Hoping that this isn't too far off camera for you guys. I apologize if it is. I should have done a different view. canvases are really heavy and get a little tiring so I'm just gonna do that well that's doing that just a little bit so you guys can see what's going on so I'm just letting this slowly work its way down and I'm really quite liking that it's not quite um, going as straight as I planned which I think is actually fine. I think this is, is looking really cool. Okay, so let's take that off. There we go. Let's see if I can do this without getting it in your way. So a little bit of the black for my base coat. gold this time. What I'm wanting is a little bit of a halo effect. Sorry I missed doing this on camera, but um, same as last time, just adding the black. starting. I'm going to bring it this way first again. Nice and slow. Now 
as that interference gold gets stretched out over the black, it's going to create some really cool effects. I'm really liking that. Um, I think on this end, I don't want it to come all the way off though. So I think I'm going to stretch it back that way just a little bit. I did get just a little wonky, but I'm not disliking it. In fact, I think I like this a lot, and I think I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. Part of me is considering kind of evening out this line, but I don't think I am. I think I'm actually just really, really happy with this the way it is. Um, I'm going to give it a quick torch. I'm going to clean up my edges and then I will bring you in for a wet walkthrough. Here we are for a dry walkthrough. I'm sorry I didn't get back to video the wet walkthrough, but man, am I so happy. Oh my gosh, look at the baby bunny. So cute. Sorry. Back to the painting. <laughs> um, yeah, just so happy with how this turned out. Um, let me bring you in for some details. Look at those lovely cloud effects. And I did get a little bit of a halo from the interference gold, but I also got a little bit of crazing, so I might go in and uh, touch that up a little bit. Look at this though. My pink got a little bit lost, which I'm not sure why. Um, on my test pieces, it didn't do that, but you know, that's the magic of fluid art is it's always changing. And you can tell there's a little bit of texture here from what was under the canvas. But man, I am really in love with this. I am going to give it a coat of varnish, I think. But other than that, I think this is a stunning piece. I think it's going to be a really gorgeous um, centerpiece for somebody's room. Okay, thank you so much for uh, sharing this journey with me today, and I can't wait to see you guys back here again. And I just wanted to introduce my boys here. This is Puck and Oberon, and they are super interested in what's going on with this adorable baby bunny. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.